This is Kibbutz Matsuva. Now this is in a municipality called Mat Asher. And behind me, that ridge line, that's Lebanon. That is 1.2 miles away. This entire region was evacuated when the war started in Gaza. And we're a good distance away from Gaza. The mayor of this municipality saw what was happening. And in an hour after noticing and watching and recognizing the extent of the attacks in, uh, out of Gaza on those kibbutzim and other areas from Hamas, a terrorist organization, ordered the evacuation. And for well over four months, the people who live on this kibbutz have not been home. No one is talking about the refugee situation in Israel. Israelis who are not able to go back to their own homes. Some 80,000 Israelis are not safe going back to their homes. And you say to me, Tony, you're there. How can it be unsafe? It's unsafe right now. It would be unsafe on a day-to-day -day basis. While I have been in Israel, there have been rocket attacks, there have been drone attacks from Hezbollah. This is an everyday life occurrence here. And the safety is, of course, a top concern. But these refugees are living in hotels. Kids are not going to school. All the things that we talk about vis-a-vis -vis COVID and what happened with education, what do you think is happening here? What they're dealing with on a daily basis is not what gets reported by U.S. media. 80,000 refugees, they can't go back to their homes in their own country and they're refugees in their own country. This kibbutz is being run by the Israeli military, an electrician and a plumber. They grow avocados, they grow other food, rotting on the vines, they're doing what they can to make sure that it, you know, has some utility. And this is a story that is taking place all over Israel. No one is discussing these stories of what has happened to the people here. Kids displaced, families displaced, and sometimes from a place like this uh, to the north, they were put in hotels to the south because that's where the, the, the area was that was available. So some family is here and some family is here and some family is here and some family is here. So picture being separated from your family for months at a time in your own country. Meanwhile, Hamas still holds over 100 hostages. And Hezbollah, as many people within the IDF and other places will discuss off camera, it's only a matter of time before Hezbollah decides to take even more provocative action.